I now call upon the Parliamentary Protection Services to assist in addition to those members. It's images like these that have become the order of the day in the National Assembly. In the most recent brawl, economic freedom fighters MPs were forcibly removed from the House during President Jacob Zuma's question and answer session. What happened in Parliament last week, on Tuesday, was both disgusting and heartbreaking. It was very sad to see members of Parliament, who should be role models, particularly to our youth, descend to such low levels of behavior towards the parliamentary security personnel that were sent in to escort them out of the House. This House has become an absolute circus of late. I believe that the parliamentary channel now has more viewers than Sieven de Laan. And that is because we have become a comic opera, a sort of sordid reality program that ought to have an age restriction. National Assembly Speaker Baleka Mbete also came under fire. Opposition parties say she cannot act impartially when she's the ANC's national chairperson. She lost credibility the very first time she called armed police into the democratic sanctity of the chamber and has shamed parliament in the pronouncement of the constitutional court for her complicity to undermine the constitution. The Freedom Front Plus also wants to see tougher action taken against the EFF. They want to disrupt. They want to disrupt the whole dispensation and the constitutional democracy. And it's no use to suspend them. It's no use to chuck them out of the house. The time has come to take away their salaries. But it's not the EFF who's being blamed for damaging Parliament's image. Since. The responsibility of this organization, of the opposition, has been taken over by um, Honorable Maiman. There's been deterioration of how that organization is running its own affairs. They eat to the level that in itself, in itself, that it runs after the EFF. The rules of parliament must be applied consistently. The ACDP's Kenneth Meshway, who initiated the debate, is calling on parties to use a 2014 agreement to restore decorum to the National Assembly. This requires MPs to reaffirm respect for the rules of the House, reject insulting language and personal attacks, and promote a culture of quality debate.